So we were introducing uh, another circuit from the synthesizer box to give envelope control, to give control over the attack and the, the release, OK? There is another box in, in here, another module in here that actually gives us control over envelopes. And it is right down here called the MIDI, the mini slew, M-I-N-I -I slew, OK? Um, so I want to connect that and have that take the place of what the envelope circuit is doing here, because this has a lot more controls on it. Um, it also has a lot, it, it produces a lot more interesting results, I'll say it that way, okay? Uh, so let's do that. Um, and actually, oh, do you want to keep playing the synth, the, uh, the controller, or do you want to use the, the Metropolis? I'll give you the choice. Uh, I'll use the controller. Controller, okay. So you've got the controller there. Uh, we, instead of having these two connected, we're going to go down to the mini, mini slew, okay, first, okay? So I'm t I just took those two cables out. And let me check my notes to make sure I've got this right. You want to send the gate signal, which is the blue cable coming out of the Mini 3, uh, um, into the cycle input. Can you, see, can you find the cycle input? Yep. OK. Now, and you'll see those blue lights will start moving just a little bit. Um, and now take the red cable that's going back into the VCA and send, uh, plug it into any of the outputs in the bottom row. Uh, let's start with this output over here on the, all the way to the right. Okay. Uh, you know, you're actually in the neighboring module. See how, can you see this seam here? Okay, that's the end of the module. So right there is when you want to plug in. Okay. It's already processing the gate information for us. So. If you play at the keyboard, now we're getting kind of a repetition of the envelope now. If you play, no. So the results. Let's see. I will freely admit. I am not a master of this module, OK? Uh, and that's actually uh, one feature of modular synthesis, is that sometimes you have to let go of control and let them do their own chaotic, interesting kind of things, OK? Uh, but this module is designed to actually transform the amplitude envelope. And we might actually get some different results out of some of these other outputs. Lovely. I don't remember which ones I had. Hey, there we go. Try playing it now. It's almost delayed on the pitch, right? Okay. But you know, it's, it's generating multiple attacks from his single hit. Okay, so you can uh, you can uh, connect things that way. Uh, I also find that it's fun not just using the MIDI control, but to actually pop over here to the. Go ahead and play with those knobs there. <laughs> See what kind of results you can get. So now we've got the synthesized, the, excuse me, the, the Metropolis generating uh, pitch information for us and gate information, and it's controlling, uh, it's going into the mini slew, which actually transforms the envelope before going into the VCA, okay? Which creates all kinds of extra interesting results, okay? But the point is, uh, control signals at the end of the day are signals that we can also 
process and modify, okay? Much like when we had MIDI, device, MIDI devices in Ableton that could transform the MIDI, da the MIDI data for us, uh, the MINI SLU is a, a device that's designed to transform your envelope signals, okay? And can yield some interesting results for you, okay? Um, I, I have no idea what it's doing at this point, but. <laughs> but it's, it's going out of completely different tempo than this is here. Okay, I can turn this down too. Any questions about that, Kimon?